Hello and welcome to another video from Mind of Travel. Today we'll be showing our experience of staying at the five-star Conrad London St James, part of the Hilton luxury group of hotels. Ideally situated for tourists for discovering all the famous sites of London, located in the former Queen Anne's Chambers. This 19th century building is less than a mile from Westminster Abbey, Big Ben and Buckingham Palace. Check-in is at 3 p.m. The reception staff were extremely welcoming and friendly. Check-out is at 12 midday. You can leave your bags if you're early and they will call you when your room is ready. We stayed in room 505, a King Deluxe room. The current rate on their own website is £437 without breakfast included. Bookings.com shows a price of £500 which includes breakfast. And a good tip, Virgin Experience have a one night stay at the Conrad London St James with breakfast for £450 and that is staying in the King Deluxe room. The room was spotlessly clean and very nicely presented. I did however find that the room for my liking lacked a little bit of colour. The bathroom was accessed by a sliding door which although smooth and easy to open did not shut out all of the noise. Mojave ghost toiletries were provided along with dressing gowns and slippers. The shower was superb, one of the best I have had in a hotel room. The temperature was great and so was the uh, pressure. But beware, leakage below the shower door. We flooded on first use and soon learned to put the bath mat down to cover the door. The toilet was accessed through a frosted glass door, which may not be to everyone's liking. Breakfast was held in the Pem restaurant, an Art Deco styled restaurant, which was very appealing. We were shown to our table, service throughout was excellent. One thing we did learn, first order your drinks, your toast and your eggs. You can have omelette, boiled eggs or poached eggs. Scrambled eggs are available within the buffet section. There's a really good selection of pastries, breads, fruits, and obviously the full English option, which are covered and in plentiful supply. The quality of breakfast was as expected, and all in all, we enjoyed our breakfast at the Conrad. A big, big shout out to Sophia, who was our waitress and was so attentive and friendly. We really appreciated that. Coffee, tea and fruit juices could be ordered to your table. Take time to look around the hotel. There's some beautiful art on display almost everywhere you go. We're currently on the lower ground floor which houses most of the conference suites. There's also a gym on this floor but sadly we couldn't show you that because it was in use. We're now looking at the Hedge Row Bar a very stylish cocktail bar, which opens Monday to Saturday, 5 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. The Blue Boar is a must visit, one of the liveliest award winning pubs and restaurants in London and was voted best pub and bar in Greater London in 2022. It serves a variety of local brews, cocktails and often has live music playing. The pub also serves food, the menu by an acclaimed chef, uh, serves comforting dishes made with top British ingredients. The pub is decorated by many political pieces of art in the form mainly of cartoons. Take time to visit when quiet and enjoy the artwork and the political satire. 
Blue Boar is the only pub in London to have its very own MP bell. An eight minute warning bell sound so that MPs can briskly walk back to the House of Commons, just in time to cast their vote. The Conrad London St James is an excellent choice of hotel and we thoroughly enjoyed our stay. Level of friendliness and service was excellent. A little let down with the room only and for that reason would probably not choose to stay here again. The hotel is in an excellent location, right next to St James Underground and you would not be disappointed with your stay here.